Hello, I'm Bob Wormsley from Insidium, and today on Top Tip Tuesday, I'm going to be showing you how we can use XP cloth to simulate denting metal material. This is a really, really nice um, effect. It looks really cool, um, and it's pretty quick and simple to set up and simulate. So without any more delay, let's get that clock started, and we'll begin. Here we are in our scene then, and we have this sign geometry, which is just an edit editable plane actually, and if we go to point mode, you can see that we've made a point selection of all of those perimeter points, which we're going to use to pin it into place. We've also got this uh, gun emitter, which is just firing out these particles through the sign, so let's get this made into this denting metal sign. To do that we're going to use XP cloth and to set that up we need to have the object highlighted and then we'll go to Insidium, X particles, dynamics, cloth effects and there's a create cloth command. Click on that it brings in all the stuff that's needed. The sign now has a cloth tag on it. We've got a constraints object for particle to particle collisions, a gravity, a cloth modifier, and this new emitter. And if we go forward a frame, you can see that, look, that new emitter has been set up to emit one particle for every vertex of our object. If we go to that new cloth emitter, let's go to the display tab, and let's just change it to circle display so we can see how big those particles are. Because by default, it is set up so these particles are all slightly intersecting. For most cloth simulations, that's what you want. In this instance, though, we don't want them intersecting whatsoever. So to change that, we'll go to the cloth tag, to the advanced tab, and look, by default, we have set particle radius on. If we switch that off, it just uses whatever radius you've got set in your emitter. This will be the default three centimeters. Let's see how that looks. Yep, look, so that's great. So they're almost intersecting, but not quite. And for our dents, that is going to work perfectly. Right, we can make that invisible now. So those particles are all connected via invisible cloth springs, and they will move around in the scene and bring the object with them. And if we hit play, it's going to fall out of the scene, and that's because our cloth particles are being dragged down by this gravity. So let's pin them in place. We'll go to our sign, to the cloth tag and in that same advanced tab we can activate pin, drag in our selection and now those outer points, those particles have been pinned in place and now yeah look we're getting this, let's make the gravity invisible and you can see because of our constraints that were brought into the scene our gun particles are knocking into our cloth particles and making it ripple. Now we don't actually want our cloth particles to be pulling down like this, so we can just say don't be affected by the gravity. Let's go to the cloth emitter, to the modifiers tab, drag in that gravity to disclude it. Okay, great. So this is looking good, and the springy constraints connecting those particles are kind of springing back into place, giving us this rippling. But we don't want them to spring back into place, we want them to dent. So we do that by going to the cloth tag, the cloth options, and look, we have a plasticity setting. So this means that if our constraints have enough force exerted on them above this amount, 1.1, they will become plastic and not be able to spring back to their normal condition. So let's just see if we're getting anything. Hit play. Yes, so look, these ones that have had a lot of force uh, applied to them haven't been able to spring back, and we're getting our dents. The problem is that the energy is rippling right the way through the rest of our cloth, so it looks like too thin sheet aluminium, this, for our sign. So the way that we can get rid of that energy is just to dampen down the simulation. And we can do that, look, by just increasing this dampen amount. Let's put it up to, say, 34%. Hit play. And yet, look, brilliant. So we're getting our dent. We're getting a little bit of that energy coming through, but then it's damping down. Brilliant. That's looking really good. So another thing that we're able to do is we can uh, get this cached up, actually. So we'll go to Insidium, X Particles, Cache, and let's just build cache to external files. Uh, it's only 150 frames, so it's not going to take very long. 
So what we'll do is cache that out. So now this simulation is cached and we can scrub backwards and forwards. And that's looking really nice. But you'll be able to see that we have a little bit of kind of faceting here because it's not very high polygon. But when you keep it low polygon, it simulates really quickly and really responsively. So what we can do is just smooth this out after we've cached it. And we do that just by putting our sign in a subdivision surface. So let's bring in the subdivision surface. Let's make the sign a child. And look, it's really smoothed that out and it's kind of added all of that, um, all of this geometry, but without the hit on um, computation time. If we hit play, we're getting these really cool dents hitting our sign. And it's a really excellent quick to set up effect.